Well, hello everyone. This is your Gita with Magic on Crafts. And another year is coming to an end. And uh, there's going to be another year for my game. Three months to the finish line. That I might have started uh, last year or year before. I can't even remember. But I love the concept. So I'm continuing again this year. And uh, first of all, I want to say hello and welcome uh, to my um, previous visitors. Hope uh, you know uh, this game and you might be playing along with me uh, with your own uh, choices of uh, whips or new starts. Or if you're uh, new and accidentally stop by, uh, welcome. Um, I have all kinds of uh, stitchy different projects, uh, samples uh, you see in here. And I uh, hope you're going to enjoy this and maybe start something like this too. So let me, let me know below in the comments if uh, you've been doing this along with me or if you're going to start. That will be interesting to see. So um, as every uh, yearly thing is uh, I, have a, I have a dice with um, majority points that you can get is a six from one through six and I roll it and um, what I have numbered up I stitch so for bigger projects I usually go for uh, thousand stitches for smaller ones or the ones that I'm not too eager to either finish or um, work on but I'd like to see it uh, finished eventually I put the uh, 500 stitches so I printed out um, like uh, covers for the whips that I want to do and you see it's more than a six. It's because I left uh, put a couple extras in case I finished one of these six numbers then I'm going to pick one of the extras here. So that's my uh, to what rem remembering which number goes with which whip. I also print out this uh, little table that I've done myself and um, it's a weekly thing and I've listed six uh, things plus uh, I just added this year like a daily whip. I like the concept of working daily on something. I was working on my hate of course it was not like uh, 50 stitches or five minutes but I also wanted to finish it and I was surprised how much I've done in one month working uh, on those daily whips. So I want to work on something daily. And as you can see on the last ones are my monthly must stitch uh, babs, big uh, A project that uh, full coverage and I want to, um, I'm participating in some of the games challenges and uh, minimum was 2000 but I'm going to uh, put 2500 hopefully on each minimum because I just finished two big giant um, whips so I have only those two left uh, that uh, I have it in the challenges so I don't know if I'm gonna work like each week but I uh, just put it in uh, in the table to be worked on so at least once every two weeks I'm gonna have something like this happening so the concept of this game is I'm gonna roll it and whichever number falls that's uh, what I'm gonna start so let's go uh, with my list. So the first one is my yearly, uh, like a Santa's. I'm trying to stitch ornaments for my kids. Uh, sort of uh, like my yearly tradition that I have. And that would be number one. So let me pull it out to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to be doing all of them in three copies. So my first one is done. And you can see it's not a tiny one. Um, um, I'm using this uh, 28 count casual linen that I tea, coffee, uh, baked, dyed um, fabric. You can uh, find uh, all kinds of videos on how to do it online. Um, so that's not hard to do. And I already had one finished for this year and even uh, put in my initials in here, which usually doesn't happen right away. But uh, this year so far, I've been very good putting my initials in year because uh, I was looking at previous whips and I couldn't remember which year they were done. So I, I haven't decided if I'm going to do more like a flat fold or I'm going to make in a tiny like a pillow ornaments out of it. But this is what it's going to look like for this year. So I need to make two more and um, eventually I'll, I'll 
finish it both before Christmas. So that's what uh, my number one is gonna be. So as you can see, it's it's just over 1,200 stitches um, the total, and um, I've ca I calculated uh, when I was st st stitching this one. So I know how much I'm I'm gonna need to do, and um, that helps me in all kinds of games. Uh, to know the n number so that's gonna be my number one my number two is a fairly new start of this year and it's from a magazine and it's called my all American heart and I've already started it too so it doesn't look very hard uh, I figured out I want to have some kind of pa more patriotic things around the house and uh, that's what it is so let me pull that out for you too and here it is and this is my like a to go purse little stitching it's a uh, 10 colors and uh, you could find it in 1991 alma lean designs um this uh, heart and um, as i said 10 colors uh one a color of a back stitch uh, so on 18 count it would be three and a quarter by three and a quarter uh, design area so it's very tiny very small and as you can see I've already started uh, stitching like um, those stripey parts let me pull out uh, something to show you with so you see all those uh, like a red and uh, white stripies it's uh, it's fairly uh, blanky stitching you know not a lot of mixed it inks so it's a very relaxing thing i'm sure when i go there with the stars it's going to be a little bit more complicated so that would be my number two and let's go with uh, number three my biggie uh one of the uh, my oldest designs not my very oldest but it is number two in uh, by the age i started it in uh, may of 2017 so that's coming to an end and um, to show you my <laughs> little scrunched up copy so this is was uh, in uh, several magazines published in the uh, different languages so i've started it i think in magical stitches when we uh, had um uh what the jane air not jane air um pride and prejudice type of uh, thing um with that theme and uh, i like the scenery so that's what it's gonna look like and uh, i have already specific place for it uh, to hang it and for that i've uh, picked uh, what kind of fabric i wanted to do and here it is that that's coming to an end so it's pretty much nice one good uh sitting maybe like a two relaxing days and i should be done so what i made myself more complicated work i'm doing skin one over one so it's like a petite uh, crosses instead of over two two over two so it takes uh, me a little bit longer as you can see uh, back stitching is also needed to be done like uh, these people once they have a back stitching their faces kind of look a little bit more normal but those little like weird blobs on the faces uh, looks kind of weird so majority is just to finish up uh, like a skin uh, parts, like uh, arms uh, for this lady and then do all the back stitching. So I'm not sure exactly how many stitches would be left because of this, like I said, of the skin, but overall it's like a 1200 stitches. So plus, plus the skin, whatever it is in here. So I'm coming with my number three of the big whips to finish this year. So I'm very excited. Um, and especially since it's uh, second oldest whip in my uh, whip list, so that would be great. And as you can see, this whole, this is my back. So this whole thing is already folded up. So it's a long thing, but, but skinny, it all fits in here. So that would be my number three. Now let's go with number four. Number four is fairly new design it's gonna be a surprise for my husband because he's a big doctor who fan so i purchased this pattern on etsy and uh, let's see what i have done actually i've been working on it quite a bit um in the past uh, um like this uh 
like about a week that um, just getting very very close uh, towards the finish and let me show you I have a pattern um, picture what it's supposed to look like on a bigger size so it's kind of weird that it does not have a face so you can imagine any face in here and it says I'm the doctor I'm coming to find you and I will never ever stop so what that's what uh, he should be looking like and I've decided to do it over one to make it smaller size so since uh, it has a two uh, types of blends in here if you don't know how to stitch blend over one is the bottom uh, leg uh, if you're doing crosses of course bottom leg is gonna go with one color and the top leg is gonna go with another color so I have already um, rolled up all the stop is done as you can see the words right here in here so the only thing that's left is to finish legs and uh, those uh, shoes in here so that's all would be left and uh, legs are fairly simple it has practically one blue color and some blends with that blue color and the black so that's gonna go fairly easy just make sure not to mess up the counting in here so that could be very easily done uh, before um, Christmas so I might give that as a gift and um, I had this on this frame and I tightened <laughs> it's so much that I actually couldn't remember which way to unscrew it and as you can see I was trying to open up and it also cracked the uh, screw so usually these things don't um, tighten too well um, but this one <laughs> did so well that it doesn't want it to let go so that's where is my number four now going next is something that I don't think I'm gonna finish at all uh, before the new year but um, I, it's gonna be good to see it getting um, further uh, away from uh, start and it's actually a kit so let me show you this one it's a Luca S kit or Lucas um, and uh, it's called Etude of Strawberries and you can see like a number that it's made in Moldova Moldova with anchor threads and a Zweigert fabric um, so that's what I'm stitching is this picture it's not very tiny so I'm just enjoying uh, kind of eating those uh, strawberries while I'm stitching so I have it in uh, like a big um, hoop uh, plastic hoop that um, you can I know these hoops come in several different sizes that you can uh, have even with a connection for punch needle so I just had a loosely um, loosely fabric uh, put in outside and uh, this is whole area and it's coming like a, according to picture this is the end of uh, the the whip so this is how little fabric is going to be left but that's plenty for framing so usually uh, what I do uh, for this whip at least, I pick out one color and I try to fill in uh, as much as possible in the whole area. So I was also looking at something that would connect so I wouldn't have to count like somewhere like here for example in the sky so I'm kind of can follow with uh, stitches that I already stitched. So you can see uh, shading of uh, strawberries where it's gonna go. So um just gonna be working there is quite a bit still left i started from the middle part and uh, there is still whole area is gonna be in here that needs to be filled in so that like i said this one is uh, not expected to be finished but that's okay and my last but not least whip that i've picked is uh, my ornament um it's from Aliexpress, sort of a little knockout from Dimensions kit and um, Dimensions stopped producing these a while back so it's hard to find or if you find it like an eBay or something it's for a humongous amount of money. So I decided to try out, uh, see the um, China version of this and of course it's not going to be as nice and um, 
uh, pretty as we expect from dimension skids but I'm sure it's gonna look fairly good I already finished one of these of course I did not FFO it I'm gonna do it when uh, probably all of them are done um, because if you know me uh, FFOing is the one of the hardest things for me to do so I might as well just get it all done pre-cut and uh, especially since three of those ornaments on a heart shape and three in a circle so I want to just do one cut um, for all of them so to speak so I've just started it and let me show you and here it is <laughs> you can't even tell which is top or which is bottom because I did not even mark it but I marked the area where approximately it should end so as you can see another uh, pretty big size ornament um, it's going to be the round one and uh, you know I can't even remember which ornament I actually picked out of these I have a bigger picture here um, if you're interested uh, here is a company it's called Amishop that uh, is fairly good with uh, those uh, reprints and I believe I've done with the grapes so I think or no or this one I remember something about the candle so maybe I've done a, a candle you see how, how it happens when you do like once a year um, ornament so anyway I started the middle part and uh, I'm just gonna continue and it would be nice if I can finish it this year if not uh, oh well um, this is not the biggest uh, hurry that I have uh, to, to work on and as you can see uh, that's how I put it in and it's fairly um, drummy so it holds uh, very nicely uh, tucking all these and uh, that's where it all fits and I'm stitching in the well so it would be easier to finish off my threads in the back so that would be number six so to summarize it I have um, six projects and I'm planning to do at least 500 stitches each um, depends also on my mood um, but it might be uh, possible that I'm gonna just sit and do uh, the whole ornament once I pull out uh, from Prairie Schooler or like I'm gonna finish all uh, skin and if I feel like I'm gonna start on the back stitching for my summer bowl uh, by the way uh, designer is Santa Little John and I might do like a finish one leg and then uh, do in the parts or just like a do by a thousand but 500 is a minimum and if I finish one of these I'm gonna kick in one of these uh, I don't know which one first depends also on my mood so one is Mirabilia's Mediterranean Mermaid and I'm getting uh, close to finish for this one too that's why I debated to put in my uh, six top six group or not and let me show you this one and uh, da -da -da -da. the only thing that's left to do is a beading and as you can see I already started the beads all those empty spots is going to be filled with beads plus there's going to be some uh, loose ones uh, floating there's going to be some pretties um, in there uh, hanging like uh, treasures and I'm stitching this as you can tell uh, not on a recommended fabric but on a hand dyed fabric and I love how those colors come out so there's going to be some like uh, stuff coming out of this uh, jar so uh, some people hang it like this like she's diving down and some people like she's bringing it up don't know how I'm gonna hang it but that's where I'm gonna start and it's already in this area since beads are just, uh, the ones recommended 11 uh, size I uh, already had to omit in a row uh, at least one to have those beads laying uh, more nicely instead of just pushing each other out of the line so that's what it's gonna be coming to do and there's gonna be a lot of it so I'm going to just do little by little and um, it's somehow my beading goes slower. Maybe because I'm trying to fit in all those beads nicely uh, in the rows and um, up and downs. So we'll see how all that goes. All the is already stitched. You can see some of the sparkles already. 
and the crown um, so yeah so all of that is done a uh, few things I've done uh, slightly different is uh, some of those uh, I've done like a with the blend um, because I couldn't tell much of a difference between two uh, colors one by each other so I did the blend um, to kind of make it a little bit different and uh, same with the skin I've changed one of the colors because I did not want to that big difference in between and uh, that's what I was trying to find something and I think I found it so that's what it is all the backstitching as you can see is also all done and there's no backstitching in here so that's only beading left for this and one more thing that I included is um, hands on design um, Java because I love coffee and by the way I think today is national coffee day so all you coffee maniacs like me um, that's that's a day for us so I've been stitching this a little bit and um, seems like it's going fairly well fairly quickly and uh, I don't want to finish right away but we'll see and here what it looks like also I put on my um, frame like this and uh, this is what it looks like I'm using uh, recommended threads um, over dyed that you can kind of in some places so hard to even see the changes but I'm enjoying um, drinking coffee uh, while I'm stitching so it would be um, something more meaningful for me so that would be another whip also not in my list but I'm gonna do is I'm participating in uh, some free sales that we're getting uh, we can choose the ornament uh, from our list and uh, it's by Russian designer uh, sort of like a Russian Facebook groups in there and um, I already stitched a couple of uh, ornaments that I can show you and I just picked the third one so something I have uh, like a big amount of 28 count uh, fabric so I figured out I might as well stitch it although like this is also big size but um, something different to stitch and I'm doing only one uh, copy of each I don't want to go like three and uh, here is my second one that I finished of course it's a blends in here and the lots of back stitching usually involved in the different amount of threads with one and two and the third one now it's gonna be uh, Santa with the lantern she also just came out of a couple Halloween ones so I might grab one um, during October month uh, as a Halloween to stitch so they usually take a, like a good three days to stitch um, but if you have like um, 100 stitches a, a night or 200 available to stitch so it would take you longer but uh, I like it it's cute uh, something uh, different uh, gnomes you know holding thing and uh, nutcracker um, it's very popular in Russia if you know the ballet uh, Tchaikovsky and uh, so I'm gonna stitch uh, maybe a couple more uh, ornaments from this I did not include them in the list but I'm gonna squeeze in some time in between so um, where is my original list it's hiding somewhere below and just want to briefly show you what I'm gonna have on my two kings and a spoil child um, left to stitch still quite a bit and first we're gonna go with the two kings um, the pattern is by a Lithuanian um, designer called uh, Astra uh, my I would link uh, then um, link to her website um, below and it's by famous uh, Lithuanian painter composer Chirlionis or we call it um, King's Fair Tale. She had it a little bit cut off because we didn't see the reason why to have those uh, dreary uh, treetops that nothing, you don't lose anything by not stitching them. So this is um, my uh, hopefully next year's finish that I'm planning to. And I'm keeping them on my Omanic frames so this is what it looks like right now and you can see i already had some rolled up up there 
and I already passed uh, half point so I think I'm just over 60 percent and I'm almost done one more time and I'll be done with the row in here and then it's going to be another full row and I think a little bit and it would be done as you can see they're holding like a world in here so I hit uh, just here so we're gonna be more fun uh, like a hands to stitch and again like a trees and a little bit of outfits on the bottom and my printed page is much more red color than uh, what you see in here so so that's my gonna be monthly stitching that I'm very eager also to see it finished so let's move to my next one which I consider practically uh, the biggest whip that I have right now and it's uh, Spoiled Child also by Astra I asked I saw this picture in um, web, uh, somewhere online and I fell in love with it and I asked her to do the pattern for it it's um, by um, French painter in um, 17 something I can't remember exact year 1750s maybe and as you can see again a same <laughs> color kind of palette with the darks and browns and kind of murky greenish and um, like I said this is my biggest uh, whip that I have uh, if you count by full stitches and I'm working only on my second row I calculated if I work 2500 uh, stitches a month I should be finished within six years it can't even fit my frame so as you can see there's a top uh, murky murky stuff and you can already kind of tell the armoire there in the corner starting so there's going to be another practically full row of those colors before we even hit uh, any part of um, humans like uh, I think third row should be hitting like uh, the top of her um, head the piece in here and then of course it's going to be lots of uh, singles and etc etc but I love this picture and as you can see it's going to be giant so those are my must stitch every month whips and here it is my whole list um, what I'm going to try to stick to in the next three months so what do you think did I pick uh, good ones or you expect it if you see my other videos if you expected uh, something else that I would pick because I had way more um, small ones and bigger ones uh, to pick on but I wanted to uh, shorten my whip list because if you know I decided to start like 44 new starts this year and um, some like third of it was totally unplanned um, for my original ones but I still like it and uh, I think I'm gonna hit that mark fairly soon I think I have only what six new ones left and uh, with those ornaments that's what's gonna happen so uh, let me know below if you like my list uh, which one you're reading for the most on that list if you starting uh, your own um, dice rolling game with me or uh, you wanna if you wanna follow my numbers uh, and you want me to pick uh, those numbers for you then I'll be posting uh, those uh, those numbers live so to speak uh, on a video so uh, until the next time this was Sergita with Magic Pond Crafts saying bye Atta.